side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lewis is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. Caught at the eight. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Iowa State's offense really centered around his quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. I mean, you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it. He's in space. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. He airs it out. Almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Keep 15. Keep 15. He goes downtown. Can't connect. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. run up the middle. That's a game of four. That'll be the third and six. Here's the fourth strike. Here's the fourth strike. He's coming. Check in. Check in. He's at the 40. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. Bring him down at the 32. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. and he's got his man. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He's tackled. 
at the one yard line. Ball to gain of eight yards. That brings up second and goal. And they make the stop at the four yard line. Loss of three on the play. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal. Four yards out. He's taken down at the three. Dive. Picks up a yard on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. The Ducks lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back to that. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Oregon's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. delay and he's brought down immediately. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 20. And he's taken down at the 16 yard line. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Right, waiting the return. Right, fields it at the 50. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Oregon holds a field goal lead. And they push him out at about the 29-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Run and he's brought down. He fights forward to about the twenty. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it thirty one. He's on the run. Runs outside for a nice game. Great run there to get the first down. Again, the option play here is such a tough play to defend. The defense just doesn't know what the quarterback is thinking. And again, he does a nice job here to pick up the first down. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. He fights forward to about the 10. And here's another third down. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown.
nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 44-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He'll return it from the four-yard line, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Oregon's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. Throws falling back and got his man. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. Six yards. That would bring up third and two. Three down, three down. Check, check, line in. Check three, check three. And he's tackled at the 42. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. He's on the run. He's at midfield. Brought down at about the 45. Game 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Now he's scrambling. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Ready, red 18, red 18. He's at the 40, gains his way to the 39 yard line. made around the 28-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. That brings up second and five. Nice run to the outside. Power gain of six yards. First down. Tackled after decent pickup. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Here we go. Here we go. The counter. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. We played one quarter. Oregon leads 10-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. So he 
Smith out as receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. The Cyclones saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Wright takes it at the four. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oregon is up a field goal. Here's the halfback. Tackled for a loss. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 30. And a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 40. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Go with the back, and he's hammered in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's hit and taken down. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Fires it out. He's tackled. That's the 49. Watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. Didn't get all of that one. Out of bounds with the 31-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon has a three-point lead. And they make the stop at the 43. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 42-yard line, second down. It's the tailback. Good outside run there. Guy picks up about seven yards on the run. He's at the 40. Here he goes. And a huge touchdown play. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. 
a real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. Iowa State's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. He's gobbled up in the backfield. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Makes it second and 14. Second and 14. Ball on their own 31. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That brings up second and one. the middle that makes it first and ten scrambling around excellent open field tackle that's good for a gain of 11 yards first down And he's hit immediately. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Three down, three down. Back 41. He's knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. And they'll get him in the backfield. Takes him down behind the line. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The Cyclones wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Slings it. And he's stopped behind the line. Number four tackles him in the backfield at the 14 yard Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up and it splits the uprights. Iowa State to kick this one off.
It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Oregon is up seven. He gets rid of this one. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. Quick out to his receiver. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. And he's taken down at the 46. Zips it to the back, out of bounds, right around the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. He delivers. Touchdown. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Milton from the nine gets to about the 27-yard line. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Watch the pass. Red, two, three. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 27. Looking for his man, incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. Third down. Larry, Larry. Change the mic. Change the mic. They go to the ground and he stops short. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the half pick. He had nowhere to go with the football. Rivera is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The Ducks are just cruising through this first half for be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. 
They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Great concentration to pull it in. And they push him out at the 10. Great play for the offense and a great he, call he, by the offense. But the defense has Lucky to change 95. things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. He lets it fly. This is incomplete. Pittman is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 49-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That makes it second and eight. tries to buy some time brought down around the 36 yard line first half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms Oregon's got a three touchdown advantage glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Right, deep to return. Right from the six. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. go ground. He's to the 40. And he shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. On 
on the run, right side. Runs right for a nice gain. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. They'll bring him down around the 16 yard line. out to the tight end but it's incomplete McCormick, the intended receiver on the play third down again man left man left four down four down hey check Mike 34 Mike 34 let's go he zips one over to the right looks to a receiver touchdown He passes for his third touchdown of the game. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he hits the PAT. Lewis gets set to kick this one away. Milton takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Oregon's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Just throws this one away. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And they make the stop at the 29. That's a game of 24 on the play. First down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Number 25 makes the tackle at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Breaks a tackle, and he'll score. Touchdown. He 
got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can kick his way so well through defenses. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Ducks had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Going deep. Incomplete. Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it in another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. Brought down at the 43-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He steps out right around the 46-yard line. Makes it to the 44. First and ten. He scrambles. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. Let's go. Kill, kill, kill. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second Keep and nine. Team. Keep the team. Got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. He's under some heat. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second So and it's ten. second and ten. Ball on the 23. Taken down around the 37-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. 
takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Zips it to the back, and they'll get him in the backfield. Probably loss of one yard on the play. That makes it 37. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 49. He was tackled immediately. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 49. The Cyclones running back left the game earlier with that injury. And what we're hearing now, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to return to action today. And he just gets rid of it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Fights forward to about the 33. That's a gain of one. That makes it second and eight. Mike 34, Mike 34. Two, two, two. Here we go, D. Gets out to around the 22. play of the drive coming up. He launches one for the end zone. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And he dropped it. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Catch some open field. Gets out to around the 35. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First down. Quick throw. And he's leveled at the 49-yard line. Call the game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quick strike, and he drops it. Hutchinson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it it's second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. to go long and does. And he makes the catch. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Call the game of 37 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Watch one, watch one. 41's coming, 41 to Mike. Set. Brought 
down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of five on the play. Right, right, Roger, Roger. That brings up second and five. Three down, three down. By 41. Ready, check, 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 check. check, 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 check. Ah. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the eight-yard line. That's good for a gain of one right, yard. Right, right, right. That'll bring up third and four. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. The Cyclones running back down there on the sideline was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Right, fields it at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Iowa State's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. They're set to go for another round. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws out and through his hands. So at the end of three, the Ducks lead 38-20. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry. Keep 15, keep 15. Check, 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 check. Now he tries to buy some time, and he tackles him hard at the 26. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock, so you might want to consider to hurry things up. He's on the run. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Hands it off on the delay. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. The middle for a nice game. Game of six on the play. First down. Here we go. Check, 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 check. check. Ah, 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 ah. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Oh, the quarterback sack. That'll bring up second and fifteen. And this is the eighth play check, of the drive. Check, check, check. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Set. The 10. Tackle made around the seven-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. 
I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they make the stop at the one. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. It's the 11th play of the drive. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. And he's immediately tackled. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Cyclones. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Let's go! Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Scrambling around. They got it. Over five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and the score is 38-28, Oregon. Iowa State to kick. Right fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He has some room. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Check 26, check 26. Mike 34, Mike 34. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. Third down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Makes it to the 31. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. Nice run to the outside. Tenth play of the drive. The 
10. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's second and goal. Four yards out. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Less than three minutes in the game. The Cyclones will use their first time out of the half. There are two minutes to go in this football game. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. And hey, we've seen some crazy things over the years in college football. You never know what could happen. If the offense can score in a hurry, you never know here late in this game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. Hutchinson, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. He passes it. Caught. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. And he's tackled at the 27. Just under two to go in the game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They didn't have much of a chance on that point. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Fires quick, he catches another. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Three down, three down. Set, green 19. Green 19. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Only a one-score difference now after that big, big touchdown. And he adds the extra point. There's a flag on the field. Illegal touching. Offense. Still first down. 
This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. After a decent run up the gut, Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oregon, up six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Iowa State will take their last time out. Taken down at the 23-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. Cyclones have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive, but if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.